According to the Pew Research Center, public trust in government is near historic lows, with only about a quarter of Americans saying they can trust the government to do the right thing at least most of the time. The Partnership for Public Service has put out a report with recommendations on how agencies can improve the taxpayer experience. Max Steyer is president and CEO of the Partnership for Public Service. Max, nice to see you again. Very nice to see you. Thanks so much for having me. So what has caused these historic lows in public trust of the government? So I think, to be fair, all major institutions really have seen drops in, in trust. Uh, I think for the government, the biggest issue is that it really ultimately hasn't kept up with the expectations of the public. Uh, private sector organizations are very customer focused and they've learned lots of techniques to really make the experience um, with their services better. And most elements of the government really just have not um, made the same investments or kept up with those techniques. So I think that is really the, one of the biggest drivers of that, that drop in trust. Do you think the pandemic had any impact on that? I think the pandemic absolutely had an impact. You know, in one um, core way, so much of government service is more vital in the pandemic. A great example is, you know, telemedicine at the VA, uh, which is again a giant opportunity to better serve VA customers. But it also then requires different investments on the VA's part. For example, something like forty percent of uh, veterans who are in rural areas don't have the level of internet access necessary to use telemedicine. So just as an example, there are new requirements in the context of the pandemic that, that the federal government needs to meet. And Max, how does the partnership track trust in government and customer experience? Well, I should say we have a phenomenal partner in Accenture Federal Services, and uh, you cited the Pew numbers. Um, we do uh, uh, our own work internally to understand, collect numbers from government uh, entities. So that's also a real plus. Many, many more agencies are actually uh, collecting customer experience data and making that public. And um, we've really been involved in trying to identify best practice and create a community around that. Uh, but then there are you know, assets like uh, Pew and other organizations that do surveys too. I want to ask you about equity. So this is the idea that Americans, all Americans are treated equally and have equal access to government services. What did you find about that? Well, I think it's, uh, so, thanks so much for, for, for asking that question. And I think the Biden administration deserves kudos for really on day one, focusing on equity issues, uh, you know, with their racial equity executive order and, and their focus since. And the, the real issue here is, are Americans being treated fairly, are all Americans actually having the access to the services that uh, they need and deserve? I mentioned the VA and the rural health access as an example to that. Um, you know, the IRS is working on trying to create more self-service options that requires better ability to be able to, um, you know, have trustworthy uh, identification verification, uh, individual identification verification. And not all people have access to the documents that they actually need to do that. So the issue here is really making sure that the government is serving everybody fairly. And that focus is something that I think is really important to build trust and also to build a government that is serving um, the American people better. You say in your report that agency leaders should address root causes of inequity. How? Well, I think it begins with understanding that it's a big issue. And I mentioned earlier collecting data, not all Americans are actually getting equal access to the services of their government. And there are particularly, you know, uh, communities of color and um, social economically, um, you know, uh, communities that have in fact historically been receiving not just less access, but oftentimes, um, you know, they've been, uh, you know, more even deliberately uh, pushed out of receiving services that all Americans should be able to receive. So it begins, number one, with identifying this as a priority. Uh, secondly, there is real expertise around this and making sure that you have the talent internally uh, to be able to make the changes necessary. Third is identifying bright spots. There are many challenges in government and there are many great things that are going on and you need to build on those great bright spots in order to solve some of these challenges. And you use data uh, and accountability uh, of leaders to, to drive this change. I wonder if you think that agencies really have the resources they need to make this a priority and to make a difference. 
They they clearly need more. And I mentioned earlier just the, the need for expertise. This is an area that has not seen much attention or investment. And therefore, um, there are resources in the private sector that would be um, helpful to have access to. We've actually started a, a program to try to um, identify uh, uh, equity experts who can come into the government for a short, short term service, uh, it's a couple of year service uh, and, and do that very easily. Um, but it's also a question again, as I said earlier about having good data uh, and by and making sure that this is built into existing process, not an add on, but something that is part and parcel of the expectations of what good performance looks like for government. And Max, just 30 seconds, you know, you mentioned a few before, but success stories where agencies have improved customer experience. Well, I have to start with the VA and uh, in, in particular, one of my former board members, Bob McDonald, uh, who was Procter & Gamble CEO and then the VA secretary. He's really moved the VA dramatically since 2016. I think they've seen a 24% jump in the positive ratings from veterans and the services that they receive. Um, but there are a lot of other uh, agencies that are really doing great work focusing on this. Federal Student Aid is a place, again, where they've had long-term focus. We're seeing you know, real um, you know, attention and improvement, and I think it matters. It will matter to the American public and to building back that trust, which is essential to our government and our democracy. All right. Well, Max, thanks, as always, for being on the program. Thank you so much.